Hey guys, welcome back to Summoner War Chronicle. Today we got a new and excited collaboration. Okay, I'm so looking forward for this. And today will be a review on all of them. So we have six new hero: Lina with fire and dark. Okay, you can click it here. Uh, this guy, Guri, uh, come with water and light. By the way, don't summon on him. He free. Okay, just to like uh, give you a head up. And um, for Silka this if I apologize, guys, if I say the name wrong, he come in dark mode. All right, so make sure, right, you do the quest before I reveal, so you don't waste your summon on him. You get two copy. One is here. One, two, three. Wow, four. Holy shit! Actually, four copy. You only need one more to max him out so it's up to you you can get it later if you don't have enough scroll but if you have enough scroll i don't think you you, you need to summon him all right but he is really good he is pve hero but anyway guys i go in a nutshell they are super duper strong okay let's start with lena okay lena she have weak point all right weak point attack is so strong guys right, in this game okay I have a light vampire. He do the same thing with weak point. He first thing first. He, this is easy to gear. All right, easy, easy to gear. Weak point. Basically, you need precise instead of crit damage. So and crit rate. So basically, you do damage without using crit. Um, and uh, what did I say? And you don't need to build them. You know whatever too much stuff so he is really simple to build not he she i think it's a she right really simple to build and do a lot of damage for weak point except the enemy have evade if enemy have evade the damage will drop down significantly okay so she is a mage she attack front line all right one thing about raven yeah if you compare for example, if I compare to Raven, Raven is um, going in and attack um, healer or support. Those most likely have full weight. What does that mean? The damage is not as much as high, right? But I got my ass kicked by Light Raven before. He is a super top tier in our country. All right, Light Raven. If you have it, try to use it, reuse it because they just buff it last patch. All right. Next is second ability okay she do attack of nine hit on a single enemy so this is single attack so as you can see it's only like 69 what the hell that's a low damage but that's you, you time nine so it's around 600 it's average for like um second ability okay so it's have a weak point attack and ignore target damage mitigation and she's amazing right she going to be amazing with that fire level as well because this is the same thing with fire raven actually okay so fire level have the same ability but he go like i said go to support and he really far shy but this might be really good for like auto Pv pvp or arena i mean okay see ignore mitigation but he doesn't have weak point though he only have ignore mitigation so this collector is combined like light level and dark level uh, and fire level together which is like amazing okay next is um a yellow level right a green one i mean have the same thing win right and she give the buff to herself is no 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 she have a damage taken up to the enemy Okay, so you need different break and this and you do a lot of damage already for 16 seconds and increase ultimate ability when you use weak points. So basically, you guarantee to get like 1% It's not that high, but wait, that's more. Okay, when you use it, CC immunity. So basically, if you casting, you see many times, right? I saw many times when I try to cast something. The other opponent stun me, fear me, provoke me or something, or silent me. I cannot use the ability and they have like 1% left and they survive. This is really good. And when you cast it, it's like you decrease damage by 50%. Okay, so this is like 
uh, it's like a little bonus, but it's really nice, okay, in my opinion. So your cast cannot be interrupted, and the casting time, I sometimes it took like half a second. <clears throat> the animation is depend on the character, though I don't have her yet, but we will summon her for sure. Next, she have pool, all right. So if you you guys pick the light monkey, this might be stronger than light monkey. Okay, it's a range pool is similar to magic knight, and this is AOE. Um, last hit do five so it's only do one one damage right five four eight weak point and like i said right this will do plenty of damage i believe remove immunity and oblivion oh my god most tank most good tank good front front line have oblivion so what does that mean you guys have um this uh free stuff right I hold it off. I don't summon it yet because I don't know what the collaboration strong uh, strength will be. Basically, you have passive. If you use Light Monkey King, you get immunity off. If you have her, you put immun immunity on him. That chick will strip him out and put Oblivion on. So his damage mitigation becomes zero. Okay? Useless. If you have Hill Lady, same thing you die or someone die or she die her she will not activate her passive okay so basically these two become useless not useless they are good but i think they're just like the power if you got to see oblivion and pool and immunity off there will be less value that's what i mean they're still really strong in my opinion the monkey is so strong okay but for me oloko is the best Polar Queen is hard to use. You kind of need one more monster. Okay? So she is the extra support, but she is top tier. Alright? Uh, today is not about them. Apologize. Okay, let's move on. Okay? Um, <clears throat> um, one second. Uh, and yeah, what do you think about Lena? It's really good. Okay? Uh, for her passive. She counter herself as well, but she in the fourth back line. Imagine, right? I, I only play Otto Alina, so Bruiser, I have no idea. So don't ask me about that. Just to quote that first, okay? So she in the back line, right? Your enemy in the back line. Oh no. One second, guys. Okay. In the back line. So basically, you, you cannot get Oblivion, okay? Because she will target the the tank and stop in the in front of her and same thing with enemy we stop on the front of her so this is workable so when a team member right team member use soling you get six percent extra so this might be a, like a super buff for eleanor so eleanor give you 20 right now she get 26 instead of four cast now a uh, five cast now she only do four cast so eleanor got buff <laughs> All right, <laughs> you have Eleanor, right? And you use her? <laughs> Holy shit! All right, next is uh, ultimate ability. Last hit do uh, 10k weak point, really strong. Trust me, and it's AOE, remove immunity, and uh, same, same thing with this one, right? Do plenty of damage. I say she top tier, she top tier. But is she better than light, uh, the yellow phoenix though? Okay, uh, the, the fire phoenix, I mean. I don't know everyone using him. She ha he have damage taken up. Okay, let's have a look real quick. Damage taken up. Medication ignore. Okay, w you can use both of them actually. Okay, one one both of them. One tank. One Kina. Uh, you need more here though. All right, but people will figure it out. All right, let's look. Have a look at the dark version. Dark version available when you reach the destination. Artifact with fire, Lena. What? This is free? Wait a minute. What does that mean? Let me pause the video and read it again. All right. I check, and I have no idea how to. Oh, uh, infinity, right? Is mean the heart. So basically, if if right, <coughs> you have this one should be yeah affinity. So if you max out, you get free lion dark. What the fuck? <laughs> Oh my god, I love Come To Us. This is the best collaboration ever. I always spend money on it. Thank you, Come To Us. 
All right, all right. Here we go. Free hero, free light and dark, everyone. Free for you guys. Three of them. Give us more. I love this game now. Okay. All right. Awakening. Let's have a look. Is she good? Though? That's the question. Weak point. Like I said, I love weak point. Easy to build. Okay. High damage. Uh, damage depth. Damage taken up by sixty percent. So she has damage taken up, and she have damage taken up. So it's it's the same thing. I wish she have armor break or something. Okay, airborne. Don't really care about that. AOE. She's a mage as well. First ability. Second ability. Remove harmful if uh, beneficial from all enemy. So basically, it's a strip with five mana. Oh, that is really high. Okay. <clears throat> um, and then a weak point. Uh, same thing with the damage. And when attacking, attribute advantage. So basically, she have thirty percent more on the damage. She will do plenty of damage. When every successful removal. So basically, if you remove the buff from enemy, you get one mana up. If caster have energy of the dark. Uh, use rune power by one. Okay, energy of the dark come from this passive. Okay, you get uh, grand energy of the dark to itself each time a team member use souling skill. <coughs> uh, at uh, at this designated number of time. So basically, um, a grand endo and immunity to itself when it receives lethal damage. So when she about to die, you get endo and immunity. When a team member use a souling skill for two times, she get energy of the dark. All right. So you you most likely get this all the time, and you don't put her in the souling. Okay. This might be like the best combo for Eleanor, man. Okay, these two. I'm not sure you can you can use both of them, right? And you use Eleanor, and you need. You use Kina or something to to heal, right? To do like burst, bursted damage. Okay, what is energy of the dark do when you you have it and you use uh, second ability? You uh, do attack of uh, forty nine for six time, weak point and ignore target medication. That's mean shield, defend buff, whatever is meaning ignore. So six of them, that's just quite low though. It's only like four fifty. That's three hundred percent. Oh, okay, but but the thing is, three hundred percent plus three hundred percent. So that's six hundred percent. I have I not, have no idea. Is it more damage? Oh, but she can defend down. That's good. And remove energy of the dark. Okay, so she have defend down. She have damage taken up. This is the best combo ever, guys. This is like a big upgrade from this shit that we all use in like first year, the three star one. Okay, and everyone using it, even today. All right, uh, is it three star or four star? Happy. I still don't have this <laughs> on my account. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> all right, this is the same thing, right? Defend down and damage medication. Really strong. Imagine defend down. You reduce defend by fifty percent. They take like almost double the damage that you do, and you do extra thirty if you have level one on it. Okay, that's my uh, roughly the number. Yeah, don't quote me the number on that. All right, good, 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 good. Both of them, I like it. Now let's have a look at the free unit. Guri, Guri. Uh, when you awaken, there's no change, right? Okay, no change. All right. Uh, attack 200%. Um, really high. You should maybe should go attack speed maybe. Okay, but let's have a look at the ability. So the damage is uh, 269 with medication of 40% defense pen. When attacking the boss, increase damage by 100% and crit damage up by itself. So it's a buff. So first thing he have a buff to itself and defense penetration. Okay, next his second ability. Defend pen 60 again, really good. I'll tell you why next. When attack creature, damage depth up by 50%. Oh my god, damage depth up by 50%? Hmm. Wait, when attacking the boss, this one is a creature. 
So you can use in the PVP then, but you need to him to be in souling. Okay, creature doesn't mean summoner, right? So he will kick ass on like fire unit, and she, he can put crit damage taken up as well. So this, if you build the last chick with crit, critical or crit damage, no, you cannot because you use a weak point, right? You do 60% more on crit damage. Oh my gosh, really strong. And uh, the her passive is continue effect, increase crit rate when you attack creature, including the boss. So it's like PVE stuff by 100%. What? What? Including the boss? No, it's only creature. Attacking when you attack creature in when you attack creature including the boss. So that's mean even the boss is hundred percent. So you only build him crit damage. Take less damage when attacked by the boss. Okay. Decrease damage taken by thirty five percent. Good. Grand Mana Regen to Dream Summoner for certain of time in Red and Path of Adventure. So Red we use a lot, Path of Adventure, I don't know, it's okay on this one, it's like a big bonus, but it's PvE stuff right here. Okay, it's gonna be too OP if this is used everywhere. Right, um, <clears throat> crit rate is effect by attribute advantage, crit rate down, etc i have no idea on this okay so basically just crit 100 percent crit rate up and damage taken down is for pve content he'll be tough as a cookie um for a fighter attack kind of low compared to assassin or archer um i don't sure about this damage okay but anyway 200 and <clears throat> 220 percent right 26 percent no, actually 269, Ooh, 269, 269, right? You divide it by point 0.4 because it's 60%, right? Depend pen. So you are 60 minus 100, you get 40%. So you divide this and you get 672% in damage. Okay, which is really high. And this one is 3... 77 divided by 0.4 you get 900 percent on this which is really high for second ability yeah maybe it's average for today so like 1000 damage for third ability i mean for ultimate ability 539 divided by 0.4 okay 1300 and damage taken up by boss by 100 percent you time two you get 6-2 and you get crit damage up by 30% level 3. What does that do? Is it go up first or go last? I don't know. If it go up first, you get another 100% crit damage up. Because you crit all the time. And you time 2. That's 5,000. <laughs> 5,000%? What the fuck? <laughs> I might be wrong though. I might be wrong. Okay? So, anyway. <laughs> He's OP as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next is uh for PVE da. Okay, uh, the light one, um, attack two hundred percent same thing. Uh, I, I would build him for ability damage. Okay, I would build him for ability damage. By the way, basically attack not speed. That what I said in the first time. Okay, so uh, have a look at the second ability first. Okay, two hit, defend. Uh, he is like a uh, light monkey king. Okay, if you get light monkey king, you get this one for free. Okay, defend damage. Remove two beneficial effects. Same with the monkey king. Defend down. Monkey king doesn't have defend down, I believe. He have root. Okay, if defend higher than your, your target, right? You use chain slash. So basically, same thing. Defend damage. Ignore target medication. This one doesn't have ignore. Okay, and you get kit damage taken up by 67%. Kit damage, take look at ability here, man. <laughs> oh my god, so many debuff. Different debuff, remove, different break, crit. So basically, you get defend down and crit damage taken up on the enemy. So basically, a 100%, 100%, 10% on damage, and you mitigate. 
um, ignore target mitigation is effect as well. Really strong. <laughs> he, he might be the strongest one, man. I don't know, man. They're all very good. We have to test it out. All right. This one is uh, only three mana down uh, four mana. The the shit in the beginning cost mana is too high. I have forgot to mention. Okay. Um, twenty second cooldown. Uh, damage based on defense again. If defense higher, then it's attribute advantage. So basically, another thirty percent more whatever you do to the en enemy. Okay, and block beneficial effect by sixteen percent. Okay, so you you defend down, you block beneficial. Block beneficial is nice. So basically, you have to they have to clean first and buff. All right, um, kind of. All right on this one, but it's you always have high advantage if you have defend more than your target, right? This might be really good. Okay, might be. Don't know yet. Okay, next is uh next is his passive light level four, grand immunity again, push and root. So basically, he ah uh, yeah, light magic knight got nerf. Monkey King got nerfed because he is immunity and everyone most likely will have him. So if you have same thing, affinity max, you get him for free. Available with no no maybe not for free, right? No 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 you have to summon him. It it mean that you need you need this to affinity first in able to you know use it? I don't know guys. Okay, I might be wrong. I'm, I might say it wrong. You use. I'm apologize. Okay. Yeah, I read it wrong. Okay. So anyway, her, his passive immunity gain in immunity when you receive immune harmful effect by ten second. Defend up. Same with the monkey king. And when the enemy attempt to root, you use strike slash by one. Strike slash is this one. Wow. Wait. It's have cooldown. So every 20 second, you get free one ability. Okay, his ultimate ability, same thing with that one block and use chain, ignore damage taken up. Uh, yeah, I think he's, he's, he's like a light monkey king. Similar, but not the same. He have no root, but he like counter monkey king, I believe. And um, pull, everyone who can pull. But anyway, they go into like you know the gangbang mode in the front anyway so i'm not sure how good is he though he might be really strong all right next last hero okay last hero is uh cell goddess cell goddess Zelda? he look like Zelda dark mode all right attack nothing on the first ability second ability pull uh 75% attack and defend damage as well and stun when you pull place in the center and stun for three times pull and stun pull is strong already and just it's kind of like people said you have silent okay and you stun it's kind of mm, I don't know guys three times get okay, this attack hit three hit next is a uh, create win at location for four time and do defend damage remove two buff one defend damage taken up and airborne so basically this one is a cruiser this one is a enemy okay they are aoe okay really good right this one is uh, similar to monkey king again what that's that two collector are almost identical similar similar three and four let's have a look at passive grand defend up on itself when fixed chance of attack it so basically 10 percent when you get attack you get defend up and same with monkey king then basically he don't you he don't need the artifact to be you know to be good like monkey king right but monkey king get level three <coughs> when he root i believe so this is 10 percent chance he will be like a uh, bruiser unit pretty sure very strong bruiser unit very strong remove three beneficial and then it's taken up three right so he's uh, two collector like monkey king 
Monkey King plus the Dark Magic Knight, right? They remove beneficial to same thing. Uh, lockdown stun monkey have lockdown root. Okay, remove beneficial. Good. All right. Let's have a look at dark. Okay, getting too long. Apologize, guys. Okay. Um, I try to wrap it up. So pull again and defend damage and stun. Same thing with that guy. Exactly right. Pull stun. Same thing. Yeah. All right. Dark. 200% remove beneficial, block beneficial, use uh, something one time, you target have CC. So it's combo thing which I don't like. Oh no, 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 you don't need combo because you have block beneficial. So you hit, you apply block beneficial, you use this right away. Okay, so this one is defend damage, ignore damage mitigation, block harmful effect removal for two turns. So block beneficial, then you have um, block beneficial removal basically you apply this and you apply that so if the enemy have cranes they have to remove the block harmful effect first so really good okay passive increase monster resistance up by 40 percent when the monster is grand with a cc effect that can be removed grand effect remove one beneficial effect of the target who can cc what the f what is it i don't understand let's have a look at this again when enemy attempt to apply cc on caster remove one beneficial if someone try to cc him they got cleanse they got a remove buff right so when enemy attempt to apply cc on him effect the harmful effect that was attempt to be grant on him whoa wait <laughs> this alone right this is continue effect there's no cooldown so basically whoever want to use a uh, harmful effect is returned back to them whoa oh shit this thing is op this one sentence alone basically they he cannot be Oh, he refake right so he can get it or he doesn't so if he doesn't right this is going to be op what does that mean so all harmful effect cannot be granted on him if i read this right i might be wrong guys don't quote me on that but if that's the case oh my god he immune to all the red stuff right so basically all this red stuff doesn't mean mean nada to him Oh my gosh, so strong. This 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 attempt alone make him so strong. Okay. Um <clears throat> and it doesn't have cooldown. Alright, and um his ultimate that defend damage, remove all beneficial from enemy, block beneficial, use ultimate brief, which is defend, medication, block harmful, same thing with second ability. Right, and he is a bruiser. Okay, so in my opinion, he is really strong. Maybe might be one of the strongest. But I, who I like the most is this guy, guys. I, I don't know. I have a feeling that he will be really strong because I pay PVE only. Okay, I have like five account, like total, like max, like seven hundred k in power. <laughs> so I kind of need damage dealer. Okay, that's for me. But you guys like that OP hundred k one million power. You guys put the comment down below guys who you think is the best okay so in the first three first three hero not lion dark i guess is him and her and him okay but he's free you don't need to summon it you get her and you get him all right for light and dark i think he is the best and these two are equal in power but the thing is this three is more powerful than most hero that we have except uh perna okay let me know in the comment down below guys what do you think for this three who is your the best in my your opinion okay anyway bye bye guys and i will do someone video soon